Moving on, Prime Minister Modi is in West Bengal, his third visit to the state in less than 10 days. TMC took a swipe at Prime Minister Modi's frequent visits, referring to him as a migratory bird and election mantri. At Siliguri, Prime Minister Modi targeted the India Alliance over dynastic politics, accusing the TMC and Congress of being bothered about their respective top families and the left for backing them. ये बात उन परिवारवादियों को बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं आती जो राजनीति में सत्ता पाने के लिए ही आए हैं ये टीएमसी कांग्रेस लेप का इंडी गठबंधन भी तो यही करता है टीएमसी वालों को भतीजे की चिंता है कांग्रेस वालों को अपने शाही परिवार के बेटे बेटी को आगे बढ़ाना है लेप वालों को इन दोनों के साथ तालमेल बनाए रखना है ताकि उसकी भी गाड़ी चलती रहे इन लोगों को आपके बच्चों की परवाह नहीं है आपके बच्चों के भविष्य की चिंता करने वाला अगर कोई है तो मोदी है the migratory bird called Narendra Modi ji is in Bengal today again. Just for the record, since 2021, Prime Minister Modi has not even come to Bengal for any reason whatsoever. He's come after two years to give rhetorical speeches here, whereas the reality is he's consistently deprived Bengal. And he'll get a befitting reply. Doesn't matter his long speech. This is nothing but a Saturday picnic for him and nothing more. This is a seasonal bird coming to fish for votes and nothing more. TMC, however, recalled BJP's 2021 defeat where several top leaders para trooped to West Bengal for campaigning. Meanwhile, West Bengal is gearing up for a rally versus rally. Mamta Banerjee will be leading a rally in West Bengal, Kolkata, Swendu Adhikari in Sandesh Khali tomorrow. संदेश खाली में गरीब दलित आदिवासी बहनों के साथ टीएमसी के नेताओं ने क्या क्या किया है इसकी चर्चा आज पूरे देश में हो रही है महिलाओं पर अत्याचार और गरीब की कमाई को लूटना यही टीएमसी के तोला बाजों का काम रहा है। Dear Pradhan Mantri ji, oh sorry, should that be dear Election Mantri ji? Again, you have come to Bengal and you are spreading falsehoods that the Bengal government is not letting central welfare schemes reach the Bengal people. Let me enlighten you on some facts. 59 lakh Manrega workers have not received wages because the center has deprived Bengal of funds. 11.36 lakh people don't have homes because the center has deprived Bengal of funds. The center owes Bengal over 1 lakh crore rupees, having taken over 4 lakh crore rupees from Bengal in taxes. Mr. Election Mantriji, don't spread falsehoods. I'm being joined by my colleague Adrija at this point. Adrija, the, state re the stage really set, not just for what seems to be the bigger picture of what's happening ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, but also ahead of what should be expected for the showdown that may emerge tomorrow with a rally in Kolkata, with a rally in Sandesh Khali. Well, absolutely. You see, tomorrow, a big day for TNT and the agency board. All right, we seem to have some issue with Adrija's line and we'll try to get her back on this.